Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Sam's Haiti. In this video, we're going to be talking about how to start a new or a baby farm in the game and basically what's a baby farm in the game because so many people ask me all the time that what is a baby farm and how they can create a baby farm. And now please know that this video is not about how I manage my own baby farms. It's just going to be a basic introduction to the baby farms and more specifically how you can create a baby farm because having a baby farm in the game is really really helpful. So I'm just going to get started with the game. Let's just harvest my crops and then I'm just going to go right into the main topic of this video. All right. Wow. That was some great stuff. I got a plank and a saw. Perfect. And my style is full. So seems like I need to sell some items. Okay. I have a lot of lettuce and tomatoes, which I don't know why. So I'm going to be putting them at my shop. So it's a good way to make money. Anytime you have any extra crops, just sell them. You'll be getting a lot of money. Wait, um, I could check the visitors. You know, there was the, yeah, this event going on in the game. I'm just not really good at this event. Or I should say that this event needs a lot of preparation. So I don't really prepare for this event. So yeah, but it's a good way in the game to make money. Anywho, let's just uh, harvest some leftover crops over here. Um, some carrots and wheat. Oh, this is so annoying. Wow, another plank. Hello, what's going on? That's very uncommon. I've never got three expansion materials by one harvest in the game. That's amazing. And even I got planks, and planks are my rare tools in the game. That's just brilliant. Wow, hate has been really merciful on me. Okay. And I'd probably go with some soybeans. All right, so there I go with my crops. Now, what's a baby farm in the game? Uh, so the definition of the baby farm is that any farm other than your main farm that you use to support your main farm can come in the category of the baby farm. Uh, so basically baby farm could be higher level than your main farm or it could be lower level than your main farm. But most of the times, like 95% of the times, your baby farm is lower level. Like I've never seen someone's baby farms level higher than their main farm because that's going to be insane. Um, and why do we need to create a baby farm in the game? Now, if you're a low-level player in the game, like, let's say you're level 30, 40, even 50, or 60, then you probably never got the need of another farm. But as soon as you start becoming a high-level player in the game, you'll notice there's going to be a lot of challenges in the game. There's going to be a lot of, um, let's say you have to do trucks all the time. You town, you have to start the townies. There's going to be boats that you have to fill. So you need a lot of stuff to cope with all the challenges in the game. There's going to be a lot of events all the time. So if you're a normal daily player and you keep playing the game, it starts getting a bit challenging to cope with all the difficulties and all the problems that we get in the game, which I would say makes the game fun. This is one of the aspects of Heyday. You have to manage everything according to your style and just mind, like with a whole strategy and everything. Uh, that's a business game. That's what Heyday is all about. So it gets kind of hard to manage everything. Like currently I'm level 199 in the game, suffering from the shortage of daily products. Let me just show you guys. See, I've just got three cheese, six goat cheese, um, and just a few cream and butter. And this is not enough for all the products that I have to make uh, to go with my town, truck otters, and of course the boats that I do all the time. So what I would do, I would just make a baby farm and I would make butter there. I could make cream and cheese there. The same way there are some rare items in the game that I always need, like you need sugars, you can make sugars on your baby farm. And when you make a farm, if you just play it, and you increase its level, then you can also start making sauce items. So it depends on what you're actually using your baby farms for. And not just for the products, you also use the baby farms for the crops because it's really hard to manage all the crops in the game now since we have a lot of crops. So your silo is higher, then it's probably okay to store all the crops on your main farm. But if your silo is normal like me, I do keep some of the crops on my baby farm. So it's always good to keep some of the crops on your baby farms. You can plant trees there. So literally you can do so much and baby farms are really, really helpful. But then again, it depends on what your main farms level is and why are you creating a baby farm? So I use baby farms for fruits, for crops and for the products as well. So if you're a beginner in the game, you might not need a baby farm. But still, if you wanna start a second farm just because you wanna play more, you wanna play from the beginning once again, it's cool. Now, the concept of the baby farms has always been in the game. I remember back in 2016 when I was just like a new player. Um, my friend used to play another farm and I used to be like, hey, what are you doing? Why do you need a second farm? And he said that he helped his main farm. I was like, 
great idea. But at that time, there used to be no service on ID in the game. So what we had to do, either we had to have two phones, two iPads, or maybe some different apps on Play Store, on Apple Stores, which you could download and you could have like a duplicate of the same app. So my friend used to use that, but I never used any of those apps or I used to have my own phone. So like I never really made any second farm. So what I did back then, I used the Google Play. I'm not sure if this still works. Uh, Supercell ID has made life easier. It's more reliable. It's simple. It's more convincing. So back in the day, I actually used to use the Google Play and this kind of used to work, but now you have the Supercell ID. So it's better to use Supercell ID to start a baby farm. Now let's talk about how to start a baby farm in the game. The number one thing that you have to keep in mind before starting a baby farm or before starting a new farm, make sure that your main farm that you're playing on is connected with Supercell ID. This is very important. Without this, you will not be able to make any baby farms. If you're wondering how you can connect your main farm to Supercell ID, don't worry. Check the link in the description. There's a video. I've explained everything there. It's pretty simple. You don't need to worry about that. So let's say that you've connected your main farm to Supercell ID and you will need an email address to connect your main farm to the Supercell ID. The next step is that uh, you can see here it says Supercell ID connected and there's a switch button. So what you have to do, you have to tap on the connected button right here, which is close to the switch button. So what I would do from here, I click on the settings button that is right above my profile. I would tap on here and after that I would scroll down and you can see this is my Gmail that I've blurred for privacy purposes, of course. Second, you're going to have two options. First is log in with Supercell ID and second is play without Supercell ID. So if you're trying to use another farm that's already connected with Supercell ID, you can tap on the first option. But since you're trying to make a new farm, you would tap on play without Supercell ID. But there we go. We are... Here, Mr. Rieger is gonna introduce himself. He's really annoying, oh my gosh. Okay, we're gonna learn how to harvest. Oh, this is crazy. Yeah, it's simple as that. You have to connect your main farm to Supercell ID, and after that, you have to go into the settings, tap connected, log out from your main farm, and play without Supercell ID. This will take you to a brand new farm. And now, how to save your new farm. So just like you connected your main farm to Supercell ID, so to save your new farm, connect this with Supercell ID as well, and you will need a different email address. So make sure you have a different email address. It's very simple. You can just get it and that's it. That's how you make a baby farm in the game. So that was all about the baby farms and how you can create a baby farm in the game. Creating a baby farm is really, really effective and really helpful. You might find it boring at first to start a new farm, but trust me, it's really gonna help you in the future when you become a high level player and when you start progressing in the game. Now, of course, you have to play your baby farm as well. Make sure you get it to at least level 30 to 40 by playing so that you can use stuff like cream cheese, goat cheese, maybe other products. Um, so yeah, that's it. That's how you make a baby farm in the game and that's how you keep playing and enjoying it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Also, let me know what kind of other videos you would like to see. Also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more stuff coming. Thank you so much for the support and love. I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you. Have a great day.